Okay, folks, this is my, uh, I can say experiment, uh, it's a uh, cooling pad mode, I actually changed it, uh, power supply, it doesn't run on 5 volts anymore, it run on 12 volts, and all fans are on, of course, on 12 volts, and that's why I have this. Uh, controller that's uh, cool drive 4 I think it's cooler master uh, manufacturer and it does a fine job you here you see connections for five uh, four vents I actually have five but I managed to uh, connect everyone every every fan and now temperature is quite good uh, earlier I was having a problem with the, with temperature and this uh, uh, CPU uh, i7 is quite uh, hot so it uh, if you do a burn test you, you will see it goes up to 95 degrees of Celsius and that's why I decided to do something and uh, everybody knows that 5 volts vents are very weak and uh, I done this mode and I will show you how I done it basically I managed to cut this uh, cool master uh, Notepad. Uh, it's aluminum body, and after that, I install install a couple of fans. One ten uh, and one twelve, and the others are I think five or six uh, centimeters, and that's it. I. Uh, this is I mounted this this four with this rubber stands because I, I have to lift it because these fans are huge. And Sorry guys, uh, somebody gave me a call on my mobile phone, so I have to cut cut this video. But I will show you temperatures at Celsius. Basically about 39-40 when I have uh, the lowest RP, uh, RPM on this uh, device. And I must tell you, uh, if you choose to, to uh, do such thing as I have done, uh, pay attention. Uh, you have a whole bunch of these devices on the internet and you can buy it, you know, they basically used to uh, control RPMs on uh, computers and they have temperatures uh, sensors uh, so it's not a problem, big problem to buy this one but if you choose to uh, complete this job with the cooling pad mode uh, you must pay attention that uh, this uh, device needs two different uh, voltages one is 12 volts and the other is 5 volts because uh, CPU on this controller needs uh, 5 volts f to operate and uh, this device also needs a uh, supply for 12 volts to push it uh, uh, all over to the fans because fans work uh, works on 12 volts so you need to um, made one uh it's about this area never mind you can put it everywhere uh regulator which splits voltage which i supply with classic charger of 12 volts 12 volts uh this regulator inside this body it's a small one like this uh, split this voltage into two different rails of voltages one is five for controller 
and the other is 12 for uh, fans and the job is done basically after you do that so I'm very satisfied about this and if you are still not satisfied with the uh, temperatures um, I must tell you many uh, laptops have very poor uh, system of uh, <laughs> uh, uh, cooling because they are closed on the bottom and this poor guy is choked uh, airflow is terrible but if you sorry I didn't disconnect this one if you choose to do something you must drill the holes whole bunch of holes uh, in the area where CPU is, where heat pipes are, and where chipset and GPU is. Uh, and then these fans will do the job. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, my father done these cuttings with uh, <laughs> some tools, but I didn't mind about aesthetics, you know, I wanted to do the job and I'm quite satisfied with this but this is very important because I have to open these holes as the area of CPU chipset and GPU and it was closed so after cooling pad is done I got nothing same results very hot laptop after drilling these holes I got great results over 15 degrees of Celsius down sometimes 20 25 that's great if you have any questions please ask I will answer it thank you for watching